Howdy do, fella kids. It is the professional Hadilweed here. And welcome back to another video. And today I'm reviewing my here Yoshimura RS3 exhaust for my here Honda Monkey. And well, if you guys are subscribed, you're like, oh, well, you had that for a while. Yes, yes, I have. But I've had it for exactly 2,000 miles on this bike and if I made a review about it like the second I got it I I mean I wouldn't have a whole lot to say I'd be like it, it sounds different and well yeah that's about it so today I'm gonna go over you know why I got it well pretty sure you know why and any differences I'm gonna do a few sound clips of the previous exhaust uh, before uh, the Yoshimura I had uh, the Takagawa STD exhaust uh, you know this the stock look but the header on it that uh, comes straight out of the engine it wasn't thick enough or what I mean by thick enough I mean it was too narrow it was 0.9 inches wide whereas for this it is one inch uh, coming straight out of the engine and then it gets a little bit wider so it can get rid of more air that's in that engine a little bit more quicker to help you run just a little bit cooler speaking of it running cooler um, I went to actually film this video last week and uh, the second I hopped on my bike I heard something dangling or something you know just wobbling about I was like huh that's never a good thing so I looked down and I saw my oil cooler literally just dangling there by the oil lines themselves so the the bracket for the old oil cooler snapped sure I could have ordered uh, another bracket easy but you see I'm I'm not easy so I was like you know what I've been looking into getting this five row oil cooler for for just some time now so that's that's what I did I got the uh, Kitako fiber oil cooler for uh, the here Honda monkey see the old one obviously is down here the new one well <laughs> now it's up here and you get an extra row of cooling which is great but that's not what this video is about it's about this nonsense that's right here you can see it's narrow coming straight out of the engine and then it gets wider right here and a quick disclaimer I might want to add it might not uh, make too much of a difference but uh, this bike is just just shy of 200 cc's of opposed to the stock 125 which well, most people have so it might sound just a little bit different than what you would get if you have the stock 125 so that is the reason why i did upgrade to the larger exhaust so i could expel more heat from the engine because i did have just a little bit of a heat problem whenever i first upgraded the engine a great thing that the yoshimura rs3 exhaust has is that it has this o2 bung right here so in case if you want to do any tuning uh, then you can put in an auto tune right here because well for the Honda monkey the O2 sensor is There and not actually attached to the exhaust pipe itself like it is on my Z125 so Whenever you first get the exhaust they give you a plug to put right there in case if you're not actually going to use it and well For the first 400 miles that I had this exhaust. I didn't use it but then after the uh, piston melted itself again I did in fact use it as you can see it is being used it's going to a little control module that's underneath my seat it's an auto tune so if it starts to run rich then it'll correct itself or if it start saw dude <laughs> or if it starts to run lean then it'll correct itself that's something I actually find quite convenient because 
I didn't want to have to uh, punch a hole in my exhaust and do some welding and um yeah because that just didn't sound very appealing to me but obviously Yoshimura has thought of that for you and uh, a few questions I've gotten is well have you noticed any performance increase or any power increase since you put the new exhaust on it and well to be honest it's just such a small difference that it would hardly be noticeable well it could be placebo because well and the reason why I say that is because be with more noise it feels like you're going faster but another reason is that at the same time of putting on the RS3 exhaust I put on a larger head or a ported head for better airflow as well which I know the ported head also helps with power and the exhaust I mean it also helps with power so I guess at the time of putting it on I was like oh man this thing books but I can't give all of the credit t to the exhaust itself and if you guys are not new to the channel and you're wondering how the old monkey build is going, I'm getting close to 1,400 miles on this cylinder and piston and this entire setup I have right now, minus the oil cooler, because, well, I just put that on today. And something else I kind of have to apologize for is the severe lack of content. Um, just recently, my motivation to film and edit has just been non-existent. One of the reasons for that is one of my cars decided it only needed three cylinders to run. It has six cylinders, but it thought it was better off with only half of them. And uh, that wasn't a cheap fix. And then I had to dump another thousand dollars for tires on it. And uh, hello there, Mr. Police Ossifer. You're not sneaky. So I guess I can start getting into exactly what I think about this exhaust. The looks, man, I was actually very uh, conflicted to uh, change out my exhaust from the stock looking exhaust that Tegagawa makes because I really like the stock exhaust but just because of all, you know, all the chrome and shininess. But th this does sound good. Well, for what it is. I mean, you can't tell me that it sounds bad, I guess. I want to be cool like this guy someday. I want to be him when I grow up. <laughs> that, that was legal. I promise. Gonna do a flyby. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Another thing with the sound is that it isn't deafening. Uh, like my Z125 is. After riding that for like a good 30 minutes or so, it starts to rattle your head and it starts to get a little annoying. But this isn't too bad. It's pretty mellow. Even whenever it's idling, What's the word I'm looking for? Civilized. Yes, that word. My vocabulary is kind of... It's not great right now. <laughs> I'm still a little delirious. I haven't had any caffeine today. Alright. I mean, there's a little bit of a pull. Ish. But I kind of got distracted whenever I uh, went to talk about um, how I think it looks. I actually really like the way it looks. I mean, it still goes with kind of the retro vibe, and plus, they throw in just a couple little Easter eggs. It's green! <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> like, they have a little monkey on one of the heat guards, and then on one of, like, I guess the clamps on the actual can itself, it has a couple of little bananas because why not? And another thing, mine doesn't have like the little the little baffle in it to keep it quiet because well, that would restrict more airflow and uh, that's not something I can afford with the upgraded engine. I need as much airflow as I possibly can get.
Look, I'm smoking this Harley. <laughs> he just got smoked. Even though I know he's not trying at all. He's probably beat to piss right now because he just rode that to Texas from Atlanta. For why? I don't know. He's he, he's kind of an odd creature, aren't you? He doesn't have his Cena turned on, so I can talk as much shit as I want. All right, so I'm gonna cue some footage of, uh, of numerous exhaust clips. One being stock, then the one being the previous exhaust, and then the, well, obviously the last one being this exhaust. And, uh, and you guys can make your choice as to which one you would go for. And I'll start rolling those clips now. Uh, So the number one question uh, some of you guys might ask is, well, is it worth to spend $600 on a mini bike exhaust? <laughs> well, I say if your pockets are deep enough and if your monkey or mini bike build allows it, I'd say absolutely. I, I would go for it 100%. It has just a specific tone that no other exhaust I've heard sounds and i say it's worth it and if you guys have any questions regarding well this exhaust or this setup entirely uh, be sure you leave a comment below and i'm going to try my best to answer it to the best of my abilities so that is when we're going to start wrapping up today's video hopefully you found some information in this nonsense filled video uh, that at least helped you out a little bit but if you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure you uh, drop a like. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And most importantly... I like it, Kudji. <laughs> okay, drama queen. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.